we can jump in game by the way as our game is already live the first map is going to be played on metropolis and i remember that game because i was watching that was the very first tournament um or one of the very first tournaments and of course uh, i am was the very first one but like a couple of koreans were coming to dreamhack and they were like oh it's gonna be top it's gonna be inca they're gonna be so good and i watched this pvt pvp between inca and tyler and i remember it as the day of yesterday because everybody was hyping up inca so much in that moment i was just watching and what I saw was like the most standard blink stalker play, trying to blink up a ramp where Tyler had immortals. Didn't work. Tyler walked across the map and beat Inca. And like everybody went nuts. They're like, yeah, best game ever. I was like, uh, I was like, uh, <laughs> oh uh. man. But in the end, Inca and Tyler did advance out of that group. And I believe, um, yeah, Taboo, the Dutch joke player, was in that group as well. And one other guy who I forgot. But that's irrelevant. That's right. So it's going to be Idra versus Inca, the North American Zerg player who's come under fire a bit recently as his results have not been what they once were. He was widely considered to be the best player in the world at the release of StarCraft II. Uh, he was, he was uh, constantly held in high regard throughout his stay in Korea. Uh, and was always a favorite to win or to place high in tournaments that he participated in, but since his victory at the Intel Extreme Masters in China, mm. has not posted a major result that I'm aware Didn't of. Didn't he win Asus after that? Something small after that. Asus Invitational? The Eight Man Invitational in Finland? Okay. I think that was after... Uh yeah, there were, there were two back-to-back -back results right after yes. China, around the same time. Uh, and uh, that's when we were all saying that the Grack is back and, and all of that. But uh, but since then, again, his results were... At that moment, he was definitely unleashing it. <laughs> he was uh, he was releasing the Grackin <laughs> all over the world. <laughs> 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 little Gracks everywhere. <laughs> As we see. Um, but yeah, since then, it's been a little rough. I must say his WCS um, USA qualification was not that bad as he was top four, I believe. Yep, I think he uh, finished fourth place. He was in the money, losing the yes. vibe, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I think um, he was. Uh, he finished up fourth in the end, so that's yep, that's quite good. Of course, Idra, I, like you want to see him win WCS USA. Well, you expect it. Yeah, but fourth place is okay, and I would say that the Continental Finals are more important than the national ones. Of course, he would have loved to be the official champion of USA, but I think we're going to see a very strong Idra at the WCS Continentals later yeah, this year. And I do want to say that I feel like he's been practicing a lot. I yeah. know that uh, he practices with Beastie fairly regularly, hmm. and uh, that uh, I mean. That's some of the best versus Terran practice I think you can get outside of Korea, in my opinion. My very biased opinion, but regardless. Yeah, of course, we are good friends with Beastie, but uh, we do hold him very high. Um, so, I mean, I, I expect to see good games out of Idra, and I really am excited to see what he does here against Inca on Metropolis, my favorite map, actually. Ah, now, the last time we watched Idra on this map, uh, Ben, he played against the Protoss, and was it at the Home Studio Cup, and was it against Bling? Um, it was at least on Home Story Cup when I really loved the way that he played, where he kept dropping roaches into the main base, and the Protoss player was forced to defend three bases, and it was just almost impossible. Mm, but I remember the game. Yeah. I don't remember the tournament. Home Story Cup. You sure it was Home Story yes, Cup? Yes, I'm very sure. I'm very sure. I don't remember this being in the map pool. We can look it up. But uh, you know, I'm sure you're right. You remember these things much better than I do. <laughs> I think if I think a little bit longer about it, I will remember the player too. <laughs> But I thought it was bling, but I'm, I'm not 100% Roach sure. Roach Drop has become a popular play style, though, Kev, especially in recent history. Guys like TLO incorporating it religiously mm. into their game plan. Others are starting to adopt it as well. Stargate opening for Inca, which is very Korean. Yeah. Yep, uh, and I think Idra is going to be quite pleased with that. I think Idra has always been good against Stargate. Uh, it took him a little while as most Zerg players to figure out how to play against it. But this is just going to be a pure Void Ray opening to basically be safe against perhaps any kind of uh, funky Roach stuff. Then take out a couple of Overlords on the map, get a little bit of map control. But that also means that you're hurting your own economy and you're giving Zerg free reign for a lot of time. That's true. Now, Idra has got to prepare adequately, though. He's the, the third base is far from the natural. And uh, if he only has three Queens out, the, the Stargate could do some substantial damage. Yep. Probably wants to put an Evo Chamber down or something like that. Yeah, now, Inca... I find it a little bit risky uh, that Idra did not... Uh, put down an evolution chamber yet as he didn't see the robotics facility neither did he see the stargate so imagine if this okay now he's gonna okay. see the void race so now, now he real. knows but imagine if it uh, would have been dark templar opening that would have been bad yeah uh, this uh, you're right that's taking a huge risk and he really didn't scout anything that made him feel hmm. safe from from that so uh maybe gambling a little bit that is of course what happens sometimes at high in high level starcraft 
but uh, we see a uh, warp prism now already as well, man. And three additional gates on the way, and I don't think that's Ooh. gonna be it. I think we're gonna see more gates than just this. So I guess it's gonna be one of those void ray warp prism all ins. Oh, Idra, did you see the warp prism? Yes, he can see it. I hope he's actually watching. Are you watching, Idra? Surely he is. Yes, he's a very now fast he's watching. Player. Cruising along at 200 APM, goes back home, starts up a lot of units, builds spore crawlers. Six gateways are in production, so oh. seven gate. The hero spore. I think this is such an important spore. I I agree. I would love to see some creep dropped by an overlord and it moved a little closer to the ramp. Yep. Uh, get the we saw Idra lose a game in a situation like this to Elfie once. <laughs> Everybody lose to Elfie. Of course, he's the best Protoss on the planet. Uh, Idra getting all the roaches, or at least quite some roaches in position over here as well. These Voidroids are still being annoying. Idra has to be careful because, okay, now he has three overlords in position. I guess it's going to be fine. Inca needs pylons, and he has six pylons in production, so he's going to be fine. Void Ray is taking a lot of damage. These queens are doing their job really well, and Idra looks so prepared. Oh, such excellent play from Idra. He's this got perfect. units in position. That is a perfect defense so good. against this all-in, and Inca has got to abort mm -hmm. mission. Brilliant play from Idra, and now his like his, his options are just endless. Kevin, you can go roach all-in uh, He's still going to try, but I don't see this work. No, it'll never work. If he drops those units, yeah, they're dead. dead. We see a Robo Bay and a Twilight Council. You know what I would have done, Ben? Another Robo. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's actually not unthinkable, honestly. Uh, but Inca instead is going to start working on the destructible debris in Idra the back of his going to drop creep, I think. Idra knows right now that Inca's probably going to, uh, as you mentioned, abort mission. So maybe he's going to try to delay this expand a little bit longer because Inca probably wants to drop that third Nexus. And we do see Idra start uh, dropping creep. Man, everything is good for Idra. Yep. Now, Inca did get a pylon up on the top side of the map. He can still warp in some zealots and just be annoying with them. Uh, but it's going to be really hard for him to be more than that, just a nuisance. Uh, the Overlord gets picked off, so Inca can take this third base. But how in the world is he ever going to hold it, Kev? Mm, well, he has a lot of sentries. And he has Void Rays. And right now, Idra doesn't really have the units uh, to walk across the map and crush something. Unless he would have a ton of links, but I don't think Idra's going to do that. Idra's just going to get a much stronger army, and then he's going to start attacking. Something that is pretty nice for Inca is while he did invest in a lot of gateways, he didn't make a ton of units. No. So that's, that's, that money's not committed to stalkers and no. zealots and things like that. Look at the amount of... Oh, well, this is weird. Like, Inca actually did not lose a single unit yet. Wow. That's impressive. That's All he did was cancel impressive. a gateway, I think. Because I think that costs 37 minerals. Very impressive. Uh, Idra is going to continue to spread creep wow. diligently. Voidray is just looking for some of those active tumors and seeing what they can do. Inca's not doing this badly at all. No, actually, I have to kind of admire the uh, display from Inca because I know that if I would have done this, I would have at least tried lose four sentries, lose the Wapris, and maybe a Voidray, and then try to expand. And Inca, yes, he wants to all in, and yes, it didn't work at all. He also had <laughs> absolutely zero committed. That's that's really impressive. Still, Idris' play is so nice, and he's not being he's not doing what I would have done, which is make a ton of units and going for a big counterattack. He has he's a lot of money. He's so. sitting back. He's, he's banking money. He's teching the hive. Uh, roaches are going to come forward, and what will he kill? Just uh, a, This is uh, not the fight that I think he should take. He might be able to pick up a few pick sentries. sentries yeah. A stalker or two as well, but uh, there's no way that he's going to kill Inca right now. Idris' supply is very low, and his money is insanely high. Maybe he just wants to buy himself some time, but this is risky because this might actually open up a super tiny window for Inca to walk across the map, warp in of eight gates and try to kill him before Brutalots are out. Uh, possibly, very, very possibly. Uh, Idra did kill a lot of sentries, though. Inca only has three sentries left. Wow, look at Idra. He's still making 16 more drones right now. He's probably going to produce a lot of spine crawlers, but look at how blind Idra is right now. I'd be very worried, man. Doesn't see much, but he did just attack, and, and in that attack, Inca revealed his whole army. So Idra saw, okay, this is what your army looks like. It's a Colossus, it's some Stalkers. I'm going to kill some of these sentries. So, I mean, Inca, he needs probably two more warp ends before he's going to be ready to go attack. I, I think Idra realizes this, and he should be okay. As long as he doesn't you know, do something really foolish mm -hmm. and lose another big handful of units. We might see some fungos on uh, both Void Rays. I really think it's worth spending some energy on killing two Void Rays. Because later on, they're going to still be a pain as well. I love how Inca's picking off as many creep wounds as possible. Idra will spot and oh kill this pylon uh, as well. Idra tried to fungo back, but he missed. That's, a, that's always a really sad feeling. No. You get so all excited about the fungal and you hit the button and then it goes no. and it doesn't hit anything. I'm always like, yeah, go for it, Ray. <laughs> go, Tom. I know you were not just a Viking. Tom Cruise dodges fungus for a living man. Oh you know, God. when Tom Cruise is flying a void ray, he's like, I can dodge fungus, baby. He spins around. I hate you right now. <laughs> you never thought about that? Seven Corruptors on the way for Idra. He's also getting his second Spire. He'll be investing in a lot of upgrades. And the Spine Crawlers are starting to go down. He is playing textbook late game ZVP right now. 
Uh, here Getting comes that timing that we talked about, the pre-Broodlord timing. Three Colossi, a lot of Stalkers, 175 supplies, a very scary Protoss army. Spines aren't done yet, so this is Inca's best shot at winning the game right now. The Greatest Spire is ready, so I guess uh, immediately we're going to see Indra get a lot of Broodlords. Uh, we're going to see a little bit of War Prism action in the main maze as well. I like that, oh but while Indra knows, how does he know? Did he see it with this unit? Something saw it. Maybe the Zonaga Tower. Or those two Zerglings. Still a warping will happen, and uh, it's just going to be a, a handful of Zealots. I don't know if Idra can deal with the army, Kev. He's kind of backed himself into a corner here. Oh, oh, no! Greg, that is not what you want to have happen. Losing a large chunk of his army. And... Oh, nice blink there by Inca as well. He has so many. Idra immediately remaxes those. Where are those Brutalers? Do we have Brutalers on the map? No, not a single Brutaler is out. No, it didn't morph any. Threw a lot of fungals down on Stalkers, but kills very, very little. The Corruptors are going to stick around for mm. uh, long enough to kill one more Colossus, but not the last one, and all of a sudden, they're doing a little bit of trouble. Still has 90 drones. He's putting a lot of roaches and lings, and he's just going to keep on pushing here. Uh, will that Colossus go down? He's not able to focus it right now, but with roaches and lings continuing to stream in, it's all about the reinforcements. This is some great macro from Edra. He does kill the Colossus, but the stalker count is still very high. Yes, I think Idra eventually will be able to clean this up just because he has so much money if he has the larva. But he has 92 drones now as well. His army is actually very small, but he did just make four infestors. And if he lands Fongo, this army is quite low in HP. Ooh, new Colossus in the mix. That complicates things. Nice yeah, blink right there. Forward blink with only three stalkers. Tries to pick off an infestor. Wow, this was it. really, really Idra's game to lose. Huh? Oh, and Inca is doing it so well. He's at only Good 140 blink. supply, but he's pushing Idra back once again. There are no, there's really no spines to fall behind. And with that forward pylon, Inca can start uh, reinforcing so at much this money. army. He's got tons of minerals, but just no gas. And I don't, th I think it's kind of spiraled out of control, Kev. Yeah. I don't think that Idra is going to be able to muster enough units. Fungals are going down. Roaches and lings are streaming in. He's killing a lot of stalkers, but this Colossus is the real hero. If Idra would only be able to spend all those minerals, he could produce so many roaches and links, but it's just not going to happen. Uh, Infested a little bit, Miss Rally there as well is going to die. How many infestors we have left? Three, but not a well. There is one fungal, but that's not going to be enough. It's still possible for Idra if he's... Well, okay, that's a lot of... No reinforcing longer possible. Reinforcing stalkers coming in, and Idra leaves the game. Inca takes his ah, first map. Frustrating loss for Idra, who was in yeah. such a good position. He should have never uh, lost that game. Yeah, uh, you know... It's hard to pick out the things that were really wrong there. I think he made one yeah. key mistake when he had his army trapped over there on the right side of the map, but he I still made that an okay fight. I don't think that was all that good. I really think that he could have maybe just sacrificed that base temporarily. Yeah, you he don't need Brutal your army to out. be there, but losing the army and the base. Uh, Idra took a fight with 170 supply while he had 3,000 minerals. And the moment that yeah. he started to fight, he remaxed, but he had so much money. And, and that's he just what didn't I really want to talk about, is he wasn't able to spend his money because he didn't have the larva. Yeah. Um, now something that, God, and I, and I hate doing this. I really hate comparing one good Zerg player to another good Zerg player. But but something that Stefano does that I think really separates him from the uh, from the other top foreign Zergs is any time you see Stefano with an ec when it, with an extra thousand minerals, he builds another hatchery. He doesn't he doesn't care mm. if his macro is not perfect, if his injects aren't perfect, if his creep spread is not perfect, if he still has energy on queens. He puts that money somewhere. Uh, and if Idra had thrown down two, three more hatcheries, he can dump all that extra energy into those hatcheries, and then he's got 20 more larvae. Yeah, then he's able to produce 35 roaches at once. But it wasn't just that. Idra had so much time to produce spine crawlers, because in Metropolis, there are basically only two ways that the Protoss army can come mm -hmm. against. And if you have six, seven spines on both sides, with all those corruptors, you're already going to buy a lot of time for yourself. Yeah, corruptors kill the Colossi. With Infester, you can land some fungal, you buy more time for yourself. And if Idra had four or five Brutalers by the time that five start, and he had easily the money for it, and I think he could have even had the time for it then, he would have won that game. And uh, I mean, he's a good, he's a great player. He knows that. Yeah. He knows that this was a game that he should have never ever lost. Um, one more thing I said it before that I really did like about Inca is the moment he didn't he realized that warp in was not going to work. He didn't even bother. Yeah. He didn't try. How can you say that an all lane filled when someone lost zero minerals? Yeah, yeah, that's what you really can't stress. <laughs> that's enough. bizarre. Inca put himself in a position to do a yeah. two base all in. Yeah. When he saw that the opportunity wasn't there, he didn't commit to it. He Nothing. Just backed not off, a single unit. Stayed safe. Lost. Zero, and that is that's crazy. genius. Yeah, I would have never done that. Genius play. I don't think many pro players I, I would think, do that. I think 0.1% of players in the world make that read perfectly, back off, and turn that game into a win. That was yeah. brilliant play well from yeah, Inca. He still should have won the game. 
uh, but that was perfect because everybody else would have just tried it be like oh well I went this far there's no turning back now but if he would have lost six seven hundred gas in that attack now it sounds like Andre but if he would have made all that gas all the centuries well, he, he would have been truly dead yeah he would have been uh, truly dead when the, when the counter does come he doesn't he have transition he doesn't have colossus he's completely dead so guys we are going to take mm. a break when we get back we're going to see if Idra can release the Graken. Stick around. Lots more StarCraft coming from the North American Star League after this short break. <laughs> 